Hello everybody, Eagle Firefly Gaming here and I hope you are all doing good and a very happy new year to all of you. Uh, I know I haven't done a video uh, for a little while, uh, some of you may or may not know I've had a little bit of stuff going on uh, but we're all getting sorted now and we are here and I just want to thank everybody for the support that we've had recently off you, you've all been amazing. Okay, so uh, first thing out of the way, uh, second is amazing support on the faction warfare video with the introduction uh, there's been some great feedback on that and we have gained some great players along the way with that video but what i would like to look at today is something that obviously i am an amar uh, pilot and i fly a lot of amar ships uh, but one of the first ships that i flew uh, in eve online and one of the first pvp kills that i ever got was with the rifter and just recently, uh, the Rifter has had a texture update, as you can see, and some new modelling uh, to the structure of the ship. And I have to say, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, me and this ship go back a long way. Uh, if some of you older players that might know me, or if you remember or maybe not remember, uh, the Rifter was a big part of the EVE story for me in the early days. Uh, so this was a very welcomed update for me. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased to make this video. So with the uh, model updates for the Rifter, they've also had the Jaguar updates and the Wolf updates, uh, which we're going to cover in a, in a little bit. So one of the things I would like to do is I haven't done a skin giveaway for a while. So what we are going to do is uh, we're going to have a look at the Layshack uh, Scope Syndication skin. Pull this up for you. Now, I am letting the team down a little bit here. Uh, I cannot fly the Layshack, uh, which I'm a little bit away from. Uh, so I'm letting the side down on that. Uh, how do I? Oh, yeah. So here we go. However, this skin looks absolutely phenomenal. I don't think I can do my... Oh, there goes my Rifter. Uh, I can't do my Space Cam on this one. Uh, but as you can see here, it's got the nice shiny blue and gold. Uh, and obviously it just looks really cool uh, so we've got two giveaways uh, one giveaway i'll give a get giveaway uh, two skins to two people that comment in this video and there is also another giveaway on my discord if you want to join that as well the links are all in the description and stuff like that but yeah it does look cool okay so giveaway uh, i will draw that uh, by the weekend okay so back to the rifter there we go there it is. So yeah, these are the new model updates. There's also, uh, I can't do the uh, space cam stuff on the warp sequence, but if we just go, let's say we'll go to here. Uh, okay, so basically, as you can see here, the front sections will come in, slides in like that. And once they have slid in, then these cool doors open. So I think that was really cool. So the warp sequence is really cool on the Rifter. So I really, I really like that. It just makes it look a little bit more "I'm here" kind of thing. And then they come sliding out, and it does this cool animation. So yeah, really like the Rifter at the moment with this new update. Uh, so even though uh, I am an Amar pilot, I might just go back to the old days and give this a whirl. Uh, you can get some great PV PvP content in a Rifter. Uh, they're actually quite strong, and if flown properly, uh, they they can really pack a good punch. Uh, so I'll dig some of my old fits out, see if they're still relevant, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's have a look at the Jaguar and the Wolf. Okay, so here we are with the Wolf. Now, the Wolf, uh, with regard to content uh, on the channel, is we have had uh, some abyssal content with the wolf now this ship is a really cool ship now i haven't had much pvp uh interaction with the wolf but when played right uh, this can be a really cool ship as well now there is one thing that i really like now we've still got the standard three uh, engine nacelle things at the front that open when you warp and uh, some other cool animations but if i can get it just right i'll show you this so if we just go here to the front of a ship and lift up, look at the solar sails. So if you see here, look at the cool reflection on the solar sails. Now, I do believe that this is new. Uh, you have to just catch it just quite right. Uh, but 
you can see just about there with the reflection of the planet. Uh, now, when I was in warp here for the first time, uh, the sun and everything just absolutely lit up on these panels. So I'll try and do that again when I show you the warp animation. But it looked absolutely phenomenal. So as you can see here, they've done some really good work on the model. And it looks like a few extra bits have been added. Uh, it's been a while again since I've been in the Wolf and the Jaguar. So it's hard for me to say what bits have added and which bits have been removed. Uh, but it just looks really cool. But you can see the rendering here with all the reflections and everything. Uh, they just got this absolutely uh, down to the T. Uh, now this, uh, these videos and these clips here that I'm showing you are all with the standard skin. Uh, there's no modification here. I haven't added the guns either. Uh, so we, we can't quite see the gun animations. I uh, just wanted to see uh, the raw ship and what the raw ship looked like. Uh, we'll add some guns and then we'll obviously we'll put uh, some screenshots open. Uh, we'll run a little bit at the end, uh, a video of a bit of a, some cool shots uh, with some music at the end. So there's the wolf. Uh, we'll just go into warp now. Uh, we'll go here this time. And then we can see uh, what cool animations we get this time. So you can see there with the reflections, with the warp drives, how cool does that look? And then we get the top and the middle sections coming out. Let's do it from the front. Looks really cool, and the noise as well. I'm saying that I am here. Let's do some business. So it looks cool. Uh, like the wolf, uh, we'll take a look at the Jaguar. Enter the Jaguar. So here is the Jaguar. Again, very similar uh, to the Wolf, uh, but one notable difference is the solar sails or the solar panels that are, just trying to get this control, uh, around this area. Uh, there's a bit more junk and rust added. Uh, not as rusty as the Rifter though, I might add, uh, but just some a few bits that have been added there. Uh, again, absolutely amazing quality. Now, I think the Jaguar is probably one of my favorites with the model wise uh, i do like the wolf with the sails but i think the jaguar with these intakes here and this section here probably takes it for me uh, let me know what you think in the comments which one's your favorite but you have to agree uh, they've done some amazing work still again uh, they are all very samey samey uh, but yeah, this one looks a bit more like a like a lego uh, figurine doesn't it uh, at the back here um, but yeah, it looks absolutely insane. Uh, again, uh, no weapons on here. Uh, I'm going to add them uh, in a moment and to see what the weapons look like. It's quite hard to control the space mouse uh, with a frigate. Uh, it's quite small. Maybe I need to adjust the settings. Same again with the three uh, nacelle sections. Uh, the, I presume that these sections here are the engine intakes or something like that. Uh, maybe something a little bit different and this one's got lights in here i don't know if the others have got lights I haven't noticed that to be fair i might have to watch that back uh, it's got like little headlights look look at that it's pretty cool uh yeah so that is the jaguar now i did notice uh, there was a slight different animation i think uh across the top here that you can see uh, it kind of just moves slightly different so let's just have a little look fucking out so it was about here. I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer. Yeah, so you see the lights there at the top. So it basically comes in but folds in at the same time. And then the lights come on at the front. So again, gone for the three sections at the front. So they're all very, very similar. Uh, and then the unfolding sections come out. And these two bits at the back and some wings so pretty cool uh, i haven't like i say i haven't done much content with the wolf and jaguar i must do more uh they're pretty cheap sheet pretty cheap ship to yeet uh into null sec so i'd imagine you could have a little bit of fun with these uh so we'll give that a go uh we'll throw some things together and we'll go from there all right so thank you for watching the video uh, i'm going to throw some guns on and then we'll do a little bit of a clip at the end uh just a bit of a montage if you like uh and see 
what we can come up with. All right, well, thank you for watching and thank you for your support and I shall see you all very, very soon. Never beat, I've been down and I reappear You got some money on the line, you better put it here Rolling in and doing that work Check priorities, I'm doing that first them Checks big and I'm sure that that hurts But it's checkmate, we ain't selling short, know the work Ain't nowhere to hide You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind Cause I be on the way yeah. You know I be on the way For them bags that they said I couldn't have, get the team. I got a vision for the things you ain't believe. And here's the motto hard huh? work this over everything. Huh? It's that comeback. I'm calling plays, hit the past, and the run back. Yeah, I'm far ahead and got a run last. But we ain't letting up, we never done that. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I be on the way.